time. Fuck the time. They say time is money, so let's spend it together. They say time is money, so honey, why don't we use it wisely? You see, time heals wounds. Time is in your hands. But way before those cliches, time, nah, we never even knew you. You were uncreated, non-existent, not even a figment. However, the creator decided to speak life. With the word, he brought forth life. It was like a this and a that and a bang and a gat and a flashing of light, acid, atoms, energy, and matter. With space came time and there you were. You came to be. I'm sure at first we didn't know you. But then things changed and things passed. Then we noticed a pattern just like that. We stuck to your ways. Your days, we befriended them. At night, you kept us safe. It's only by you that we could call days, days, months, months, and years, years. But I got one complaint. Time is too relative. Time is too long. Time is too short. Time is money, but yet it's priceless. I don't own it, but yet I can use it. See, Father Time, sometimes I think I misuse it. Sometimes I misuse your gift by taking your gift and stretching it beyond expansion, then stuffing the intestines with two dudes listening within a short time frame to do homework, to study for courses, to do housework, to kick it back with the homies, to do the dishes, to read this, to read that, to post this, to scroll past that, to do art, to finally give this essay a start, to write bars, to cop a job so I could buy a car. See, I don't list out my priorities. Am I following my heart too closely? Or is it that I'm mostly wasting my day and trying to make up for it when I realize my mistake? You say, a stampede at dusk does not tame for a waste of day. This hits home because I put the pro in procrastinate. And at that point, I feel there's not really a need to elaborate. I put my wants over my needs. And I realized that my wants never seem to feel complete. I could run a marathon through my heart, many hard desires. However, my needs usually come with the side of hard work, focus, and dedication. But I desire instant gratification. So I don't really admire the most important things. So that means I only give them half of my attention. As I try to get control of this erection as I scroll past the provocative section on my Instagram. I'm living in a generation that's insta-everything. Distractions are everywhere. Everything is begging for my eye and in turn my life, my time. A piece of my life that I can never get back. I can't keep time, but I can spend it. So I bought a $150 watch. But I never sit back and watch time tick by like tick. Talk. Tick. Talk. Have you ever sat and watched how fast and slow a second was? Father, to you, a second is no different from an eon. A billion years pass like seconds to you, the eternal. Time management is what I lack. So to you, Father, I ask, help. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. To me, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years a day. But as your Father, I come to meet you at your place. Time is created as a result of matter and space. Your time on earth is like a mist that appears for a little time, then vanishes. Therefore, beloved, look carefully then how you walk. Not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of your time. I teach you to number your day that you may get a heart of wisdom. My son, seize the day, for you do not know what tomorrow will bring. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Therefore, do not be foolish, my son. Learn self-control. Resist sin with the spirit. Flee from temptation. Understand what the will of your father is. For to everything, there's a season. A time for every purpose under heaven. I have placed you on this earth. Use your time wisely, my son.